Ramped vehicles have been dominating the second custom joust semifinal, and now the game has become how well can your vehicle survive that leap into the crate. Hi everybody, I'm Aaron Yada. So far, only one team has been eliminated in this semifinal, but there are a few on the brink. Three teams will move on, one will go to the wildcard match, and the other six will pack it in and be sent home. Here we go, let's joust. Starting off with Scrabble for the Splitters, sponsored by Farty Marty. Scrabble has been dominating the track with a ramp that nobody has been able to deal with so far. Shell and It will take to the track next, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. Shell and It leaps off that ramp and does not make the recovery. Rolling Gold had three left. If Shell and It does not make the recovery, they'll be down to two. Big Dragon for the Apex Warrior, sponsored by Farty Martin. Big Dragon leaps off that jump and does a nice job of turning it around, flipping off the track to a recovery. The Joust not only about hitting other cars, but also being able to survive anything thrown in your path. Eruption for Velvet Storm. Eruption has had good luck with the ramp so far and does it again with a catapulting bounce back on the track and lands right in front of Evil Evil. Up first for Numskull, the only remaining vehicle, Turtle Shell, sponsored by Emo Dingo. And Numskull stays alive with a great recovery by Turtle Shell, bouncing and getting off the track over by the other Turtle Shell, but right side up and alive. Last remaining car for the under attack to cab company, Fished and Chipped, sponsored by Jason's Bits Boys. Fished and Chip just leaps right into the open space on the track and just kind of plants itself there. It says, might as well fill up this space. And what a great landing. Backslide for Milestone, their final car, sponsored by Chome. Backslide jumps off and goes right up into the crates, goes in the safety area, flips over upside down. That will be it for Milestone without a miracle recovery. They did not have a chance to get Backslide into place this round, and it looks bad. Bean 500, sponsored by Sean's Toy Room. Bean 500, also the final car for the Bean team, and usually it does a better job with recoveries like this. At the last second, though, just kind of flips over, doesn't quite manage it. Wow, we might have just lost two teams. Charlie, sponsored by Judy Collins. Charlie takes the leap, flips it over, and does a great job of recovering. What a bounce right there off a of backslide. Man, oh man, keeping dogfighters alive. Axe, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling for the Splitters. Axe takes their teammates jump and does a fantastic job of surviving. Splitters still got two alive. Next up for Rolling Gold, Lucky Duck, sponsored by Judy Collins. Lucky Duck takes that jump. What a great bounce back, and there's no concern. Lucky Duck lands it. PhD Flopper, sponsored by Chome. Flopper flops off the ramp and kind of lands on top of the taxi. Nothing fancy, but it will keep you in the match. Electrack, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. Electrack slams into the crates, flips around. You couldn't see it in the regular speed shot, but there was a couple flips right there, and that was a great recovery. Time for another splitter. Bambalance, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. Bambalance does not take the jump. Will you look at that? Splitters actually have a vehicle that will stop their own jump, basically. No damage on that hit. Cheddarbox, sponsored by Jason's Bits Boys. Cheddarbox boinks Bambalance onto Scrabble. Bambalance sticking to the back of Scrabble by design. Final car of the round, Bad Daddy, sponsored by King Jester. Bad Daddy, a pretty tame hit. No eliminations on that one. Little paint flying around, though. Three cars taken down in the round, and we are going to lose two teams now, going down to only seven teams left. 
There are the three eliminations. Taking a look at the aftermath, we're going to lose Mr. Bean Team and Milestone Diecast. Rolling Gold falls down to two from three. Splitter's steady. And everybody over here did not lose a vehicle. Splitter's and Apex Warriors both at three. They are leading in the match. Scrabble will start us out again. And it only makes sense. Scrabble has been dominating the match. Why not continue? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although Big Dragon has no problem with that ramp landing up towards the safety area. So far, so good. Ooh, Lucky Duck creates a problem for Big Dragon, knocking it off and almost sideways. Meanwhile, Lucky Duck does the usual. Nice recovery. Big Dragon is close. Eruption causes Big Dragon to go over completely sideways and out. Meanwhile, Eruption does a great job of keeping it steady. Charlie flying solo and does not touch a single vehicle, just that ramp and makes the recovery, keeps the dogfighters going. Everybody taking a piece out of Big Dragon. This time it's Fished and Chipped who swivels over the safety area and knocks it upside down. Stays alive, keeps the taxis going. Turto Shell rebounds with a vengeance, knocking Eruption completely over to the side of the track and making the recovery. Numbskull's good. X bounds off the back of their teammate, flops it back, and survives. Speaking of flopping, PhD Flopper flops also up to the front of the track in front of Evil Weevil, swivels, balances, safe for now. Rolling Gold, second vehicle, Tax Dodge makes a great recovery, lands up on the grass, drives away, far away as it can get. And Electrack makes the leap for Velvet and does not have a good time of it, fished and chipped kind of getting it stuck up. And look at that, tries to flip it over, but now the track is in the way, that's trouble for Velvet. Vambalance glides off the ramp and doesn't stop at the top. Magnet not really doing the trick this time. Vambalance flips straight over upside down. Very uncharacteristic. Bad Daddy smashes Fish and Chipped off the track, then goes over on top of Electrack, flips itself over, and now they are both stuck against the track. Nobody's escaping, although Electrack is getting closer, actually. But it's not going to get any more opportunities to get more right side up. That was the final car of round four. Three eliminations. We're going to have to take a measurement on Electrack to find out if that is right side up. I'm going to guess it's probably not. And nope, it is just beyond 45 degrees. Electrack is out. Apex Warriors took a big hit and lost two. Taking a look at the aftermath, Splitters are down to two. Rolling Gold steady at two. And Apex Warriors fall to one as well as Velvet Storm. Everybody's at one except for two teams. Rolling Gold and the Splitter. Rolling Gold will start us out with Tax Dodge. Unsurprisingly followed up by Scrabble who throws Tax Dodge off the track and sets up the ramp. Oh no, a bad bounce back for Charlie. Flips over upside down, hung up on the track, and that could be it for dogfighters without some sort of miracle. And there it is, the miracle that they needed. Eruption does dogfighters a huge favor. Backs down on top of the back of Charlie, flips it over, and both of those vehicles with wings will survive. Fished and Chip seems to like that safety area. I'm not sure exactly how safe it is. Back end balanced on the safety rail. What a weird bounce to get in that position. Guess we'll see if it works out. PhD Flopper needs to survive and doesn't do it at all. Flipping over, going upside down. It may have flopped its final time. Turtle Shell does not do PhD Flopper any favors. Hits it, but sort of bounces off to the side and to safety. Same thing for Lucky Duck, but on the other side of the track. And look at that recovery. Oh my gosh. Duck and roll, not a bad car for this competition. 
Everybody's rebounding back on top of PhD Flopper, but it's not helping. Axe manages to survive, almost takes out Eruption on the way over, but Eruption survives. And we are gonna lose one team in this round and one car. Apex Warriors were tied for the lead for a while at three, but now they have been taken out. And we are down to six teams as we start round six. We go until there are three teams left. Rolling Gold actually rolled gold when I rolled the dice and got to go first again ahead of Scrabble. Let's see if that works out. So far, so good as Scrabble just kind of pushes it partially off the track, but no damage. Fished and Chipped has another amazing recovery, this time avoiding the safety area, bouncing away from it, going off to safety, and under a taxi will make it to another round. Eruption, a massive rebound off the crates, goes all the way over and collides with Cookie's tow truck. I'm wondering how that makes Cookie feel. If I told you there'd be people coming to my house. Some violent rebounding in this round. I don't even know where Turtle Shell went and what happened. It looks like probably a recovery over on the fences. Taking a closer look and there it is. Turtle Shell has balanced on the fence and survived. Charlie pulls it out for the dog. Fighters can't quite get off the track. Hanging out next to Evil Weevil who's hooked a tire over the track. Hanging on for dear life. Oh, wow, a really bad bounce for Lucky Duck off of Charlie and Evil Weevil flips over sideways. And Rolling Gold might have just lost their duck. X stirs things up a little bit, but doesn't do any damage. Charlie just kind of floats over by the duck. The duck does not recover. Vans off the track. That was the end of round six. We are going to see one elimination. All six teams still in it. But Rolling Gold is going to lose Lucky Duck. And now Scrabble takes control, the only team with two vehicles remaining. They are ranked number two for a reason. Scrabble sets up that ramp, and the ramp joust continues. Fished and Chip does the usual jump into the safety area, and it doesn't work out this time. Finally runs out of luck. This team has been down to one for almost the entire time, except for round one. And that might be it for the under taxi cab company, unless they can get a recovery. Turno Shell tries to help them out, but it isn't enough. The car is off the track now and definitely in a rough spot. Turtle Shell, on the other hand, look at that great bounce. Turtle Shell just kind of showing off. An eruption will finish off the under a taxi cab company with that recovery. And that'll take us down to five teams. The round is certainly not over yet, though. Tax Dodge makes the save, lands right down next to Scrabble, and keeps rolling gold going. And Charlie does the same thing for the dogfighters. Bounces off the crates, keeps it steady. Axe takes the jump. Oh man, and that is gonna take splitters down to one. Look at the twisting and twirling that Axe does. A chunk of something comes out. I think that is actually from the Super Crashers Invitational. It's a chunk of bumper. And Axe gets caught on the safety rail and taken down. So we will lose two vehicles in this round. The splitter is taken down to just one now. Everybody pretty much even here. And we'll have to say goodbye to the under a taxi cab company. They made a great effort, couldn't quite pull it off. Round eight, here we go. We've got five teams. This time the dog fighters get the roll and Charlie will head down first, parking down at the end of the track. Splitter's got second, ramming into Charlie, pushing back just a little bit. Ooh, that was actually a close one. Scrabble bobbling a little bit on that hit, but stays on the track. <laughs> Turtle Shell does it again, a perfect landing there. With Scrabble, you gotta wonder that if we had to go to higher speeds, what would happen to that vehicle with all of the bounce back? Tax Dodge does it again. No eliminations in this round so far. Speaking of higher speeds, they could happen if no vehicles get eliminated. Eruption also pulls off a recovery, still halfway on the track on top of Charlie. And that was all the cars, so there were no eliminations in round eight. That means it's time to increase the speeds that the vehicles go down the track in. 
And we're going to get those eliminations. Tax Dodge starting off this time. Got the roll. Tax Dodge parks down at the end. Little nudge to Evil Weevil. Turtle Shell with a double tap takedown of Tax Dodge. A push and then a nudge off the track. Turtle Shell tries to escape, can't quite make it. And Rolling Gold is in big trouble. Ooh, Eruption with a nasty hit right there. Tries to do the same thing to Turtle Shell. Take it out. Can't pull it off though, and actually flips around and stays on the track, pointed backwards like a ramp. Eruption has maybe just created a, a ramp here. Charlie refuses to take that ramp though and clocks Eruption, flipping it over upside down on the track and we might have two teams out here. That would take us down to three. Final car of the round is gonna be Scrabble. Scrabble, what a hit, a blistering smash. Eruption has a chance to recover and can't pull it off. Charlie survives and that is gonna do it. Wow, it came down to the wire here in round nine, but we have definitively got our final three teams. There was some question about whether some of these teams were gonna make it, but they did. And now the big question is who garnered the most points in this match and will go to the wild card. Fourth place team will get to go to the wild card and get another chance. It is gonna be Roland Gold who has 56 points. They had more cars alive longer than Velvet Storm. So we are saying goodbye to Velvet Storm. And here are your three finalists, the Splitters, Numbskull Racing, and Dogfighters. They will join Big Al's primary objective, Color Crash, and the German Fighter in the finals. So far going to the wild card, the Splatter Family and Roland Gold. Interesting fact, both of these teams were sent in by G4 Diecast, so that means that G4 is gonna face himself and one other team in the wild card. A brand new season of Junkyard Joust starts next week. Here are a couple images of the new teams that are coming in the very first qualifier. If you wanna sponsor cars that will be around all season long, now is your chance to do it. Become a patron, support the show, and root for your car all season long. Cheers, everybody. See you next time on the Joust.